Let's balance the equation. C plus S gives us CS2. We have carbon plus sulfur and we get carbon disulfide. This reaction would take place pretty warm, 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius. So let's count the atoms and then balance the equation. For the carbon, it's not written, but we have a one there. Same for the sulfur. So one carbon, one sulfur. For the carbon disulfide, we have the one carbon and two sulfur atoms. So to balance the equation, we can only change the numbers in front, the coefficients. Right now, we assume that they're one, although it's not written. It looks like all we need to do is get two sulfur atoms here, and the equation's balanced. So we put a two in front of the sulfur. That's one times two. Two of those. This equation is balanced. Let's get rid of that one. If you want to write the states, these would both be solids starting out. And then carbon disulfide at room temperature, this is a liquid. But because you'd heat this up to make these two react, this would be a gas, at least initially. When you cooled it down, you'd have a liquid. It's so Dr. B with the balanced equation for C plus S yields CS2. Carbon plus sulfur yields carbon disulfide. The type of reaction, that's going to be a combination because the carbon and the sulfur, they combine to form the CS2. Thanks for watching.